This video uses the operation pivot map. We load pivot map by double clicking, shift clicking, right click, copy, move to our calculator, right click, paste, press enter. To see that we have loaded it, press the VAR key, press CAS, press program, and we see that pivot mat has been loaded into our calculator. Pivot mat is found under the info, immediate mode, CAS, VAR option. Then we press finite math and we see that under linear programming, dual problems, pivot mat is listed. What we do in this video is use the simplex to solve a non-standard minimum. What we do is change the minimum to a maximum. We take the opposite of C and this becomes our P. We take the inequality that's greater than and multiply by a negative one. So these are both negative and this becomes a negative. We take our equality and change it to a greater than or equal to and a less than or equal to. Then we take the greater than or equal to and multiply by a negative one and change it to x minus y is less than or equal to minus two. We then add slack variables to our maximum problem and end up with these constraints here. The solution to this problem by the graphical method turns out to be the endpoints of these straight lines. The minimum turns out to be the lower endpoint. We use the simplex reduce to come up with the solution once we switch the matrix over to a feasible solution. Let's switch over to the subpage. On the subpage, we see how we work this problem out. On our calculator, let's switch over to the home area. Let's scroll our calculator to the top and enter M1 into our calculator. We press the bracket key twice to get it into matrix mode. Then from our constraint table on the main page, we enter the values in. Once we have all the values enter in, we use the pad to exit our matrix, use shift store to store, and use alpha M1 to store the matrix as M1. We chose to use row four column two as our pivot element and stored the matrix M1 as matrix M2. Picking column two caused us to evaluate five divided by one, five, 20, negative 21 divided by negative seven, three, negative two divided by negative one, two, and two divided by one, two. Since two was the smallest one, this particular element was four, two. So that's how we came up with four, two. We are at the corner point zero, zero. The X column is zero. The Y column is zero. Our initial slack variables are in this diagonal. The initial maximum value is zero. This is not a feasible solution since we have negative constraints. We now use the same procedure with matrix two since we still have a negative seven as this constraint. What happens now is we come up with the row to be two and the column to be one and store it as M3. So our answer for M3 comes out here. Looking at matrix two, we see the corner point is zero two 
and the maximum is negative 4 and it is not a feasible solution. So going up here, we got that information. Column 1 is complex, so therefore we let it be 0. Column Y, column 2, Y is equal to 2 and the maximum is negative 4. Using the non-feasible pivot technique, we come up with our row to be 2 and 1. So we take M2 and store it as M3. When we get the answer for M3, we see that we have no more negative answers in this particular column. And all of our answers except for our maximum turn out to be non-negative answers. So we are done. From M3, we see that the corner point is 7 tenths and 27 tenths and the maximum is negative 15 over 2 and this is a feasible solution. So again we got this from looking at this particular matrix. So 1 was 7 tenths, the 1 here was 27 tenths and the maximum was minus 15 over 2. Once we get to a feasible solution we can go to our catalog and call up our simplex reduce and enter in the variable M3. Then when we enter this in, it gives us the solution to be identical to the solution that we got from pivot math. Our final solution is we need to take the opposite of the max, so this becomes a positive 15 over 2 at the point 710 and y equal to 20, 27 over 10. This ends our video on simplex solution for non-standard problem.